Hey, welcome back to the second episode of, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it Let's Play Sword of the Stars 2. Uh, first episode, first turn, we're almost done. I, I've still forgotten some things I want to tweak right before I'm done. First of all, I'll show you this screen, Empire Manager. Really useful stuff here. Um, let's tweak this just a little bit. Security, basic things like espionage, counter espionage, uh, tightening of making sure, you know, there's no corruption within your own government. Zul, you know, since we're a completely uh, psionic species, telepathic and all that, kind of hard to... Maybe we'll get corruption, and I can stomp that out, because, you know, underlings can't get too uppity. But all right, now, and our tax rate. We're just going to go ahead and put that to max. For most species, their max is 10. Zul, it's 7. You know, we're Zul. Uh, this is going to negatively affect my morale. However, we're Zul. Uh, it probably affects maybe the amount of total income I get. It'll go down a bit, but the tax rate will be higher on it. However, we don't give, we don't really care about our morale. Other than that, other benefit, we're Zul. I am the great father, and his will is almost literally unquestionable. So there won't be any rebellions from that, unlike other species where you gotta worry about that kind of thing. And I think I'm done with this turn, so let's see what happens when I hit enter button. And hopefully things will start going faster and I won't be taking so long for you. We have seized the planet, Lord. Hell yeah, fed it too. Decent species, and I'm terrible at deciding when to terraform an infrastructure, which is basically what making a planet comes down to in Sword of the Stars. Uh, one and two is want to terraform, or do you want to work on infrastructure, balance in between, with low populations, it doesn't mean a whole lot, but let's go ahead and up or over harvest. Yeah, it's worth it. We are Zul, so we will tear this planet apart, and uh, I'm also playing during a Halloween update, so in case you had any doubts about when I was making this recording, if there's been time between the first one, we can keep little planets. I don't think I showed this off, so I'll show this off real quick. Let's take a look at the system. No, I don't want to do that. Let's look at this. Fraps is eating me alive right now. So we got a little cute little system view. Eh, happy little terrifying planet. But Rizul. Inviting. Anyway, colony established. What else we got? First colonization fleet. Yada yada yada. yada. Oh, that's the only thing for turn two events. Okay. We should have built a ship. How's that working out? I guess they started the boar ship first. That thing's huge. It's also going to take a chunk out of my money when it comes out. And which one of you was the, the bigger industrial forge? Definitely you. Yep. Uh, just to be on the risky side, let's go ahead and build another... I'm gonna make it another scout fleet, because we want to just tear apart space right now. I wish I had saved that invoice right now. Oh well. Whoa! Apparently I had that one held down. Favorite 
Call it the first survey fleet invoice. Survey. We will build as you command, Lord. Excellent. And they are going to run me dry very fast on my money. But we got full tax and we are uh, not working too hard on our research like we probably should be. The new colony will survive without any more coddling. I don't think we have another target yet, so go ahead and continue supporting them. A new outpost for your fleets, Great Father. Yeah, I don't have any idea that the name Naval Station, so we're just going to let them get built. Two ships have been constructed in Theta. Awesome. Four more turns, and I got a second survey fleet. System updates. Go ahead and start working on actually updating the, uh, the naval station we just built. So for that, we can go to the station manager at the actual system, or we can go to the global station manager here, which will show me all of them. And we built that one in Starhaven. And to upgrade to level 2, we got so many requirements we got to meet, which is pretty much everything at level 1, so just hit automatic upgrade. Start eating into my wallet, you filthy weasels. Talking about eating in the wallet, let's go ahead and build a new station over here. Another naval. 30,000 credits. Get to work, maggots. Great Father is watching. System update. Oh, you guys got two more turns. Awesome. Turn five events, ships constructed, ships constructed. Okay. It's gonna work out pretty quickly. And the amount of money we're getting from our tax is stupid right now. So I don't feel too bad about throwing it away. System update. Hurrah, what do we got from the MR? Pretty nice looking planet. Damn nice looking planet. All right, we got some expansion to do. A small kennel for your warhounds, Lord. Good, you finished your support, so now you're gonna go colonize again. Which one of you is cheaper? You get the first one. Easily you. A fresh world to conquer. Excellent news. Our survey complete. Excellent, so let's go ahead and start making a new fleet. Oh, okay, I did something really stupid. I completely overlooked the ship that should be in that survey. Really important ship, too. Don't know how I forgot that. Go back to the build queue. You need a command ship to lead your fleets. I'm going to start cranking up my research. Because these orbital dry docks are going to help us build our fleets. System updates. It's a bit of a catch-22 on what I'm doing. Alright, now we can make a new fleet. Let's just select our own admiral, see who we got to pick from. Thrifty, good shepherd, what does that mean? Oh, that's cool. You're not going to capture anything. Let's go ahead and make a thrifty one. 
The Lord Munda the Ravenous. I like you. You are hungry for knowledge. Clearly. Take you all out of reserves, put you in there. The fleet manager. And just to be typical, yeah, let's do that. I think I realized that just put two of them right outside the range it should be. Supplies are back here. Go ahead and put them in sector eight, maybe? No? You just want to stay out there? Okay, whatever. You guys can stay where you are. Fine, now you move. Excellent. Go ahead and send you on a mission. I like the look of Shanor down here, but survey that. Yeah, I'll accept that. Use the fastest route. You will have your map, Lord. She'll route them through Starhaven. We can build up to four of our uh, node paths from any one star with our current level of uh, technology. So I can only build one more from my home world. The cool thing is eventually I'll be able to streamline where I want my ships to be able to go from what I consider useful planets and what I don't. Is Star Heaven upgrading? Sorry, yes, yeah, Star Heaven. How about you? And you need a repair. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, it is queued up. I'm stupid. So, two more turns, that'll be ready for an upgrade. Dune should be right behind it. Just hopefully, settle your Mar soon. And I should probably make a defensive fleet at this point. To the shipbuilder. ships. And this will be great against other ships, but if I'm not fighting ships, they're not going to be too terribly useful. These, on the other hand, are fragile, but they're going to hurt a lot. Maybe I'll build another constructor fleet. I need, definitely need another fleet of something right now to be flying out there. I'm going to have three survey fleets active. So... Probably a second colony fleet so that we can get that. Yeah, let's do that. Get you out there. I could take the chance to put combat worthy vessels in this fleet in case they need escorts and the like. I'm just not going to worry about it. Three colony ships, I think, should be good. I'm really bad at picking that much out. And let's go ahead and get them to supply. Missions supply. And only two turns to build all that crap, really. What if I added another uh, Dominion in there? Still only two turns. Thank you. 
construction project initiated, Lord. Excellent. But we're doing that. Let's go ahead and build another construction fleet over here. And we'll wait for you to finish. No, I won't. Screw you. We're totally building that fleet. All important instructor. Another command. And two supplies. Let's go ahead and add a second constructor. Should make their build times faster. Construction order placed, Dominus. We're gonna start sharing through this money sometime. You have inactive fleets, do you want to end turn? Um, you know what? Yeah, what are my inactive fleets? Good time to show off our fleet managers. Show those with no missions, just the construction fleet. Yeah, they don't really have anything they can do right now. They'll just leave, yeah, I totally went ahead of my turn. A new land is conquered, Dominus. Excellent. Now I have a mission for the construction fleet. To build a station. I will see to the work personally. You don't necessarily usually want to build a naval station at every colony. I feel the Zul benefit a lot from it, though. We're a military race. We don't really have trade per se. And I don't feel too bad about what it does to our... Let me show this off, too. Governments. You get all these kind of governments that go in this game that each have different effects on... Um, yeah, see, it fills here. Negative effect. Increase some negative morale effects from debt during wars and all that. So they affect... The type of government you have affects the way that your people interact and what they can do for you and what you can do for them, etc., etc. Not... What you would expect different government types would actually have an effect on their nation. But you don't pick them. You don't just say, oh, hey, I'm definitely a socialism. Or I'm definitely, you know, more a mercantilist government. You can see here we have a whole list of things that are affecting it. And I am going way too far to communalism than I would have ever thought I would be with Zul. I thought we'd be just straight up jun uh, Junta. Yeah. But I guess we're not right now. Um, so yeah, your actions change what kind of government that you have. Which has, you know, sort of that, uh, that steamroll effect. Our survey fleet, some riveted space, so you're ready for another one too now. Now these, I know this star has nothing at it, but who knows, there could be a phenomenon when I get there, I may just want to tunnel through. It could be worth looking at still. Let's go ahead and survey Bronson Alpha. Use fastest route. Information is always useful. That's that extra option really only comes up with human and Zul who have to worry about the node lines as they go places. Three ships constructed at Theta. Imperator. That's nice. That's another cool thing about naval stations. The more you have, the more admirals that can start flowing in. You get a nice pool of admirals to pick from. Alright. So, are you still building... Right, you're building a colony invoice now. But you should be done with your fleet. Now you're just building the second yeah, construction invoice. Alright, so let's get a third survey fleet out there and let's start taking to the stars. Yeah, I'll take my own admiral, thank you. Hey, Vicar the Mad is not a good admiral. I want to leave Architect for the construction fleet. 
So let's give Inquisitor Tamok the rich. I like rich guys leading my fleets. Move them all! ships. Huh, that's an oversight. Which we will shortly have to fix before I go anywhere with those guys. Alright, let's do that. Well, I guess this will be coming through first. I know how to pay attention. Construction project initiated, Lord. Alright, it's becoming real difficult to go through this money. So let's go ahead and start putting some money into that research. Oh, and there we got that corruption. Because I've turned my security down too far. The morale's going down, but I don't care terribly much, because I'm Zul. The minions can suck it. Are none of you ready to upgrade yet? No, oh, it says one of them's up ready. Yeah, it's the one at Data, which I don't feel like updating yet. Check my fleet real quick. I'm starting to get to the point where I have a lot of them. Yeah, you're there. You're just gonna constantly have this no thing to do until I get you more supply ships. System update. Do they have supply ships and I just didn't name them correctly? No, I just didn't give them supply ships. Oh shit, data 2! Being over harvested. Are you done yet? Oh man, look at that industrial output increase. No wonder we were building ships so fast. Now, planet's back on its feet. I'm not gonna worry about that until I need to get ships here and now. And seeing as how indecisive I'm being, I'm not worried about that. Alright, level 1 outpost. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade you. And what's my other construction fleet doing right now? Ah, uh, that's right. Building the naval station down here. So we'll upgrade it one more day and we're ready to upgrade it. Glad I decided to build a second construction fleet. Second colony fleet's ready. Good Shepherd can have that. planet, but doable. Alright, yeah, Mars got a good one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and colonize him Mars 1. I remember when Zul did not need nursemaids. I 
remember when I didn't employ old fogies in my art, uh, fleets. Perhaps we should go back to the old days, is what you're saying? Alright. Planet Demar, you go. And yeah, let's get you guys up and running. Terraforming, negative 23. I guess because we're taking it down. Actually, yeah, I don't really need to do this at all. They can stay where they are, I don't need to over harvest. I want to see those sooner. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can't disable that. It's just kind of useful they for should me. Live. What more can they ask? They can ask for nothing from their great father. You have been obeyed. Are they still working on the construction? Alright, it'll take two turns when we get to that. Four turns to get through the constructor. Seized the planet, Lord. A new outpost for your fleet's great father. Excellent. Let's go ahead and run it through the automatic updates too. We won't be keeping a level one naval station in my Zul backyard. I got plenty of room to build more stations. Just only have the one fleet right now, working on the second. Active fleet, so she would not turn yeah. I know. System update. Ooh, this is a nice system. Which one was Chanor? Definitely bringing you into the fold. I am so glad we're. So I had a, not a, a not terribly good starting. Uh, star systems, but I'm finding a lot of nice places to, to settle my zulings. Do I have a free colony fleet yet? Yes, I do. Excellent. I like to colonize a cheaper one first, regardless of its benefits, just to get a foothold in that system. A fresh will to conquer. Excellent news. Oh, uh, we're starting to go negative. That's great. Yeah, I'm going to continue to go negative. I'm finally at the point where I'm spending too much. Finish your research, scientists. If I were anyone but Zul, you'd have been done by now. Because it's gotten to the point where I'm going to start needing a defensive fleet to start patrolling this place. I should probably have an offensive fleet ready when I find something to take. I was hoping to put off until my uh, orbital dry docks were done to start constructing those fleets. System update. Uh, we're back in. Or are you back? I kind of wish that stuck to it as it increased in rise of cost, but if it did that, then it would start costing me more money and I wouldn't know. So it just got to be watched. Excellent. So we had an update mission for you, I believe. We upgrade you because you are my workhorse right now. And it is not cheap to upgrade a station. They are important decisions every single time you want to do that. The 
system update. What do we got? Oh, not a bad world. Definitely, I want to settle it. A new land is conquered, Dominus. Excellent. Let's not worry about how much time it takes. Let's over harvest. Which is a good. For a lot of races, you don't necessarily want to over harvest. Um, it permanently damages the resources of the planet. Uh, also, har har harms its uh, bio output. I don't know why the name. There we go. Biosphere will go down too. But we're Zul. We destroy biospheres anyway. We tear apart resources anyways. And we have the best over harvest. Like, that is just insane, the kind of output that changed when it goes to full over harvest. And it's only two permanent resources right now. So they can they can colonize this world pretty fast. Are right, you done, my fleets, over here yet? You look done. You're working on my other survey. Alright, do we have any more architects in my mists? You do. Awesome. I'm gonna need my constructors, and I don't need all three supply. Just. Shannon needs a naval station. I'm gonna need to build science breeding stations. Soon. Get to work, maggots. Great father is watching. Probably should have built a science station by now. Science stations are how you start to actually make this not stupidly slow anymore. Uh, with other races, they get really great benefits from having them. We get good benefits too, just because of how poor our research capabilities are. But they're expensive, and I'd be building them at the sake of building my naval stations. So, you know, choices. Important choices. At the moment, I have a hell of an industrial output, so I'm pretty happy about that. ships are done building, so I shouldn't be going in the red again if I pump up my research. Hopefully, they'll actually get it done in four turns, and stop with the corruption people. When I, up when I upgrade that security, we're, we're eating heads. A small kennel for your warhounds, Lord. It is easier yes. than we thought, Lord. Four turn early breakthrough. I will take it. That's an interesting thing about research, too, because it's it's a bit more... I guess realistic is the word I want to use here. Research doesn't necessarily finish when it says it'll finish. It's an estimate of when they when my scientists think they'll have it figured out. Um, awesome. Reduces the construction cost cruiser and dreadnoughts. Alright, so what do I build now? Lots of goodies, and I can't pick any of them. I uh, would like to have more frightening looking ships. Grapplers would go great if I could get DMP grapplers. Better armor for my ships, more income, better technology, tribute systems are probably useful.
Yeah, I'm a little lost. I don't quite know. I think I'm going to go... Ooh, emitters would be nice. I'm either going to go with VRF, I'm going to go weapon-wise. I don't think I'm going to work on industry just yet. Because we need to be pretty scary when we start fighting people. So yeah, let's go get my heavy lasers. Yes, my lord. This is a guaranteed the deck answers will yellow. not elude us long. So it's a rough 12 turns and we'll see it at my current rate of research. Excellent. Third survey fleet is finally going to be operational. So where do I want to send third survey fleet? Yeah, I probably want to start branching out a bit more. Look at enormous gaps here to get here. I don't know how I want to go to Unicron. Yeah, Sora will probably never be explored. Let's go ahead. Explore Sias. I will see what I can find, Great Father. Let's tone down that on the HCLs. So let's. Ooh. Good income, though, right? Yeah, pretty good income. Start building a fleet capable of killing things. Now, I'd love to build just my zealots because they'd be a great anti ship ship. Our boarding cruisers are to be feared, but I don't know what they're going to fight just yet because we haven't encountered anyone. We're commanding there. Probably get, I'm gonna get a violence fleet. And maybe a third supply. Expensive fleet, but we're gonna build it in five turns. We will build as you command, Lord. Alright, does anyone have inactive fleets right now? Nope, everyone's got a mission. The new colony will survive without any more coddling. Totally will, won't it? Um, go ahead and finish colonizing. I have done as you bid me, Lord. I'm sure we have another world to conquer already. Alright, let's go ahead and find another world to explore. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the Unicron. Excellent, I can actually make that enormous journey across the galaxy. Gonna be well before we hear back from him, but at least survey time will be quick. You will have your map, Lord. Naval Station to Star Haven has been upgraded. Excellent. Oh yeah, combat fleet. Alright, well that's a good place to leave off for this episode. Next episode will probably start encountering other people. We're, we're expanding pretty fast. 
See you for that one.